The Job Data Entry Area, Part A, General tab, and Contacts. For information about how to add or locate a job, please see those separate videos. When editing or entering job information, the Job Entry Area consists of a collection of fields on the General, Job Details, and Invoice tabs. The General tab is used to collect basic job information and contacts like clients or agents and site address information. The Job Details tab is generally set up using fields that came with your particular software package, often used to collect specific site details. Premier Edition users have the ability to further customize these labels. And the Invoice tab is generally used to collect or enter any job details that affect your inspection fee. An invoice may be optionally created and printed or emailed as well using those options provided. Returning to the General tab, most of these fields are not customizable. However, Premier Editions have the option of specifying the types of contacts you might collect for each job. We can see them here, Client, Buyer's Agent, Seller's Agent, and Referral in this particular database. Specifying or customizing these is done using the Maintain Office Management Preferences. The Company tab contains your basic company information that typically would be merged into your documents and inspections. But we are going to focus primarily on the tabs that affect our job data entry area. The Contact Roles tab allows you to specify the types of roles your contacts might play. Note that any contact entered into the system may be assigned to one or more of these roles or to none of these roles, but the roles make locating contacts for use with future jobs easier and may be used with some reporting options. Here we have roles for Agent, Client, and Referral. The Contacts tab enables the labels for contacts that are added and appear on the General tab when adding or editing jobs. When a new contact is added to a job, it is automatically assigned to the role specified here for each of the contact labels that you are working with. Note that in this case, we have contact labels set up for entering the client, buyer's agent, selling agent, and referral. Note, though, that the separate contact roles were specified for most of these, but both the buyer's and seller's agent are both connected to the same role of agent, so that is what both of them are, and we want to be able to easily search among all agents added from either place. Let's see how that works. We can return to our job entry screen. And if we add a new buyer's agent to our job, notice that the role of agent is already specified for the new contact. But we could select this to also add additional roles as well. For instance, if we were adding a referrer who was also an agent, we might want to specify both roles. For now, we're going to leave this as an agent, and we'll add an agent here. When locating an existing contact to attach to a job, for instance, if we choose Referral, notice that the search screen is split to display matching contacts within the role we are searching for and other contacts that might happen to also match the search criteria that we might happen to use. So any contact could really be located and attached where needed regardless of its primary assigned role. In this case, we have no context in the referral role added yet. That's why this section of the screen happens to be empty. This concludes the first part of our video about the job data entry area. 
Watch the continuation video to learn more about customizing the other tabs.